knowledge, we will talk about how to create your own improvised centrifuge. You will need to get a hold of some capillary tubes with heparin. The heparin is very important because it will keep your blood from coagulating. First, get a sharp and stick your finger to get some blood. You have to milk it and get, uh, get it out. You can put it on a slide if you're going to do a peripheral blood smear. But today we're going to talk about the heparinized capillary tubes. Notice how the tube is below the level of the uh, blood coming out of the finger. It is much easier to use gravity when you do this. So milk your finger, get some more blood out. Notice the capillary tube is below the blood and it'll fill in using capillary action. Get a second one if needed. It's always good to do two to balance your centrifuge. Same technique. Get uh, your, your blood, milk, milk the blood out of your finger and have the capillary tube below the level of the blood. So you will make a round centrifuge, paper, paper fuge. You want to have it balanced. So you will always have equal number of capillary tubes on each side. I like to do one on each side just so you don't get too much weight and too much counterbalance. Use duct tape or gaffer tape and tape the microtubule down and make sure the tape goes around the edge of your paper fuge or your centrifuge. This will keep your capillary tube from flying out. Notice that I am taping the capillary tube exactly opposite of the first one. And again, you're going to you get some 100 mile an hour tape or, or gaffer tape. Tape it down, making sure you wrap the edge of the tape around so the capillary tube does not fly off. Next, you're going to spin this. You're going to spin this for five to six minutes. You're going to attach one end of your string to a stationary object, and you are going to pull rhythmically on the other end, and you are going to have this spin back and forth back and forth. Once your five or six minutes are up, you will carefully take off the tape from your paper fuge, making sure you don't break your microtubule. These do break pretty easily, so make sure your capillary tube is, stays on the paper fuge as you're removing the tape. How to read the results of this field hematocrit. If you look on page 309 of the second edition of our field guide put out by the college, you will see how to line this up so you can read what your results are for your field hematocrit. Basically, you're looking to, to line up the very top of the yellow bit, which is the plasma, and the bottom of the red bit, which is your red blood cells, and then your diagram here will show you how what your percentage is of red blood cells what your percentages are of plasma Don't